Let's take a look at the double haul on the back cast. According to Tyler Vanisdell, who's the owner of Mission Bay Fly Fishing Company, distance on your cast is a really important element when thinking about saltwater fly fishing, and particularly in the bay, like Mission Bay, which he guides at. And a part of that is how you cast, and so a double haul is a really important element to make sure you have in your arsenal. So when it comes to the double haul, what I tell most people is you don't have a double haul um, unless you get a single haul. So number one, I'd really try to perfect and really try to put as much power as you can into your single haul. And if you don't know what the single haul, it's, and you may already actually be doing it. So a lot of times when my fly line's out and I make my first pickup of the line, a lot of times I'm separating my hands as I'm picking up the line and trying to pull my rod back for that first back cast, if that makes sense. So basically, again, if my rod tips out here, everything's out, I've got with my left hand pulling, as I'm pulling back the line, pulling back my rod tip, I'm also separating my hand from this as well too, which in turn is actually bending the rod and also putting load into the rod. So that's called the single haul. And then once my, my rod tip is back, once everything's back here, I'm basically emulating and doing the same thing that I'm doing with my single haul. So as I'm bringing my rod tip forward, I'm also pulling the line through, which is in then turn also bending the rod, loading it up so it gives me more power and more bend. As I make my stop, it's actually gonna throw that line with more power. The cool thing about the double haul though too is, is it, it makes you connected to the line constantly. So even if I'm actually just making a 20 foot cast now, I'm always still double hauling. It gives me more power, but it also gives me more connection to the line and the rod. I feel more connected to everything as I'm going through the whole process. So again, the double haul is just trying to figure it out when to actually pull that line at the right time. Because technically all we're trying to do is as we're coming through with that system here, our, if, if we're actually pulling the line at the right time, we're basically catapulting the line forward. We're also pulling it, we're actually, in hauling it, we're actually creating more bend in that rod. So is that when that rod comes forward and actually comes to that stop, it actually has more power to throw that line. So in turn, we can throw that line farther and we can actually turn and throw heavier flies that far as well too. So the double haul overall is gonna help your fishing, whether you're trout fishing or whether you're saltwater fishing. The double haul to me just makes you more connected to everything when it comes to your rod and, the, and your line. I always tell people you, you want the line and the rod to marry. You want them to come together and work as one. When trying to decide where is that time when you're trying to actually pull that line to, to start with you know the so-called haul, Lefty Cray did something really good that I saw, which is fantastic. What he'd had people do was he would have someone lay the line all the way out like that. And the line's actually on the, on the ground now at this point. So then when I would come back, as he would say, we'd say, all you're gonna do is just gonna float, throw it behind us. But you're also gonna pull the line at the same time too. So you're gonna pull the line and bring it back. Now the line's on the ground now too. You're gonna do the haul, the same thing here. You're gonna pull and throw it in the same way too. A lot of times it's a really good way to try to learn, to try to find that spot of where to haul. So laying the line out actually on the ground in front of you, pulling it back and separating your hands at the right time, and then doing the same thing on the back end, letting that line Low, uh, lay on the ground behind you and then trying to move forward pulling that line at the same time too so once I have my line is out in a straight line and it's actually on the water and with that there's going to be water load and that's actually the water sticking to the line so then as I'm pulling my rod up off of the water my rod starts to bend when I when that rod starts to bend I'm going to find myself also pulling the line away which in turn is going to bend the rod even more at the same time so that's where I'm loading the rod, and that's where I'm, that's so-called the hauling part. Basically, I'm creating more bend in that rod as I'm pulling it back. This motion right there at that. And the same thing in the, in the back end. As I'm coming forward on my forward cast, the rod's starting to bend. My hand's up here with my line. I'm gonna start to haul it and pull it through the bend as it's coming through. So it's trying to create more bend in that section as that rod starting to bend through my hands up here I'm pulling the line and trying to pull the rod through the whole section here that was Tyler Vandersdale who's the owner of Mission Bay Fly Fishing Company really knowledgeable person a lot of skills and ability to convey that expertise to others 
that can really help you if you want a guide here on saltwater in beautiful San Diego area on Mission Bay, San Diego Bay, and the local beaches. Let us know. We'll put you in touch, and we'll see you right here next time on the Backcast. <music>